So let's look now at the case of a CSTR, continuous stirred tank reactor, with simple second order kinetics. So we've got the usual system, we've got a volumetric flow rate of Q, meters cubed per second, and we've got a starting component A, which has got a concentration of CA0 moles per cubic meter uh, in the feed material. The reactor itself has got a liquid volume of V cubic meters. And then we've got an outlet flow to maintain a constant volume in the reactor. And uh, we assumed earlier on that that would have the same volumetric flow rate, Q meters cubed per second and the concentration of our starter material is now reduced to CA moles per cubic meter. And the general equation that was derived earlier to describe this system is minus RA equals Q over V CA naught minus CA. Uh, and in this case, we're going to assume that the, um, the reaction has second order kinetics. And it's the simplest case where it's second order in the starter material A. So that RA is equal to minus K times CA squared. It's minus because, R, because component A is reacting away and being consumed. And in this case, we've got K, which is the second order kinetic rate constant uh, and because that's second order it has units of meters cubed moles to minus one seconds to the minus one okay so we can substitute ra uh, into this top equation and we've got minus ra so this minus goes and that just leaves us with K times CA squared is equal to Q over V CA naught minus CA. And if you're doing a design and you want to know what's the required volume, then simply rearrange that so that V is on the left hand side and you get a V is equal to Q, Q over K, the kinetic rate constant, multiplied by CA naught minus CA divided by CA squared. And that's a very uh, simple form of the equation for a second order um, reaction in component A.